Ten years ago, I was a parent. My son was transferred into secondary school. So I know exactly what I'm going through. I'm probably the most neurotic, dramatic parent in the whole today. I remember it like it was yesterday. But ten years down the line, I had my son and I have ten years of experience as being ahead of our park. And I'm telling you, whichever decision you make, whichever school you choose, it's going to be the right choice. And why am I saying that? Because I'm standing here with ten years experience under my belt, saying a happy child is a successful child. So you choose, and whatever choice you make is the right one. So you're through the gates of Burke Park Academy, you've seen us in operation, and I'm asking you, what type of school are you looking for? Are you looking for a successful school with academic uh, track record? Are you looking for a sporty school? Are you looking for a school with good behaviour? Is it a happy school you're looking for? Or is it a school that's based on good relationships? Well, here are some of the thoughts that I want to share with you today. You're through the gates. Let me start by talking about achievement. 50% of our students achieved A star to C in English and maths this year. <coughs> maths was 62% and the progress 66%. English was 60% and the progress 66%. Achieving two GCSEs in science was 68%. Chemistry, the triple scientist, 95% of them got A star to C. When they did the physics, 92% of them got A star to C. And biology was 92% A star to C. If you're looking for behind the core, in drama, 84% achieved. A star to C, art was 83%, graphics 85%, geography 62 history 64 And there are other statistics going around the school I'm not as bored and any pack for you to see. For me, I need to share with you, we have come favourably in hearing with our results. We've matched many schools, and in fact, we've gone beyond significantly gone beyond in particular areas of the school, gone beyond schools in Haven. <coughs> Assessment is changing. Assessment when the year sixes get to year eleven will no longer be A stars to C, it's going to be something called Progress 8. We take the child from the starting point of the primary schools and then ten subjects later they get graded and you will get a Progress 8 score. A star to C will be um, terminology of the past and it will be now grade 9 to 1. Our top achievers this year, so let's keep to the A star to C for now. Our top achievers was Kai Wellington with 9 A stars to A, Cheryl Tripathi was 7 A stars to A, Abby Badness was 7 A stars to A, Aisha Pinto Pambu was 7 A stars to A, Mantis with 7 A stars to A, Georgia Carroll was 6A stars to A, Jensen Gretsch was 6A stars to A, and Tommy Wood was 6A stars to A, and I could go on. All of those <coughs> students are probably here today to show off their school. <coughs> universities, while well, we're talking achievement, universities, we now have Bird Park Academy X students currently studying at, at the following universities. Leicester, UEA, Cardiff, <coughs> Canterbury, and we've got our ex student Alice Porter who's here today. She's studying in her second year at Cambridge. Again, significantly, students are here today from universities. They've come back to be part of the Bell Park family and they're two guys today. If you're looking for behaviour, I can go right back to yesterday with the fire drill. You know, we had 150 staff on the playground, South Playground. I hate fire drills, by the way, but I'll share that with you. Um, we've like about 800 students in the back um, playground. And when registers were taken and the staff were at the stations, I was able to talk to the whole school in silence, listening to the instructions I gave them. 
The fire drill, we finished, and it was complete silence. If that's the type of behaviour you're looking for, if you're looking for, for corridor behaviour, you can come and you can see when you come on tour that a corridor behaviour, I think, is fantastic. We have a Vivo system, so we dish out Vivos, we reward, so I don't really want to talk too much of the negativity because we're a school based on rewards. So the Vivo system is central, they can buy all sorts of things with the Vivo system. We've got Duke of Edinburgh, and we have a student leadership team that I think is second to none. We've got we're four plain ties, um, purple ties here, but I'll talk about the ties in a minute. The global programme. So I was in primary schools this week explaining to the students our global vision. For me, it's that bit of Bell Park that is central to what we're doing. If students are well behaved, they tend to be offered a trip abroad. Some of the trips we've run, we've run three trips to South Africa, we've been to America, we've been to Florida, and a, and a North, Af North um, New York trip is going in a few weeks' time. Sweden, Poland, Italy, Romania, Turkey, and all sorts of places across Europe we're sending our students. If a student does really well and they work really hard, we try and earn the money, and the British Council are very good, giving us money to donate to send our children abroad. <coughs> Curriculum. I think if you're studying a pathway that you enjoy, why would you want to misbehave? So are triple scientists, and you've seen the results. So are very academic triple scientists. They do their science, and we have construction, hairdressing. We try to get a pathway for every child at Key Stage 4. Behaviour in terms of what kind of facilities do we have? If a child needs behaviour, well, the students have said themselves. We have a school counsellor. They have people to talk to. We have a school hub which is directly over here. People want to go and talk to adults, professionals, to talk about their worries and their fears. <coughs> and we base the school on climate for learning. Freddie's already spoken about growth mindset. Our growth mindset, underneath growth mindset, is about no excuses. It was too hard. Didn't understand it. Didn't have time to do my homework. That <coughs> is language we don't use here at Bell Park. We don't use the word, I can't, and as Freddie just beautifully said, I can't yet. You have to work it out. If you're looking for a sporty school, you know, and I think we're quite competitive here at Bell Park, the sporty school, we've got a track record of, we just heard on Friday that four of our boys have been identified to play in the district football team. We need eight. In 2014, the Year 9 basketball, we were the Year 9 Haley basketball champions. These are statistics we'll be proud of. We obviously did the year in 2014. 2014, we were the Year 7 basketball runners up. The same year, 2014, we were the Year 11 football runners up. And the year before, we were the Year 10 basketball champions, the Year 11 badminton champions, and the Year 10 badminton champions. So I think if you haven't been to PE today, after this speech, go to PE because our, our facilities are second to none and they're a very competitive team of people. If you want to know what's going on in the classroom, all our lessons have a lesson plan. Lessons are self-evaluated and we reflect on every lesson that we teach. We have coaching programmes and we have a hub where staff work together in departments. We have weekly staff workshops. Examination preparation is big for us. So we do Saturdays, Sundays, bank holiday Mondays, getting our children just right before they come into this hall and they're getting ready for the public examinations. We actually almost hold a hand right up to the end. You know, the bank holiday before the first exam on the Tuesday, we were taking them right up to the end and then we have to leave them at the, at the door. I find it difficult leaving them at the door, but I know that I've done everything I can and I know the staff have done everything they can to get our students ready for public examinations. Leadership team, and I'm talking student leadership team and staff leadership team. Do we have a vision at Bell Park of where we are and where we're going? Yes, we do. We're at a junction, we've had a past, we've got a present and we've got a future. 
Do we know where we're going? Yes, we do. Why do we know where we're going? There's the weekly learning box where I'm in school, in classrooms every single day, assessing what goes on, and so is the leadership team. We've got half termly monitoring, so not only do we just walk around, half termly we go in and we make big value judgments on every single member of staff. And the student leadership team, they work beside me to do the same. So I'm going to conclude. What would I say about Bear Park Academy? Firstly, we run it like a family. And I'm hoping you're getting that sense of feeling today. We run it like a family, a second family, and our alumni, our alumni of past students, want to come back and help out. And I'm hoping you're feeling that today too. Our first big alumni dinner is coming up in November time, I think it's the 25th of November, when actually past students over the last 10 years are going to come back to celebrate what's been going on with our park. We're going to be entertained by our Glee Club and present students are going to serve past students their dinner, dessert and make sure the entertainment's going ahead. How would I sum us up? I think I'm firm, but I genuinely think I'm fair and that's the kind of momentum I want going for the staff too. I think we're a firm, but a fair school. Do we have passionate staff? I think we do. I don't know any other school in Havering that comes in on bank holiday Monday. The staff don't get paid and we get their students ready for the exam. I don't have to ask the staff to do it. They volunteer to come in and get the students ready. Aspiring learners. Do I want our students to aspire to be the best? Yes, I do. And Alice Port has been around and she comes back just since Easter the summer to work with us. Just that role model in the building. You know, she once sat in the chair, listening to my assemblies, going to lessons. I just want our students to see, and that's why I bring all the past students back, I want them to aspire, to be aspiring learners, to think, I want to go to UAE University. I want to go to Cardiff. I want to go to Bath. I want to aspire. I want to be the first child to go to Oxford. <laughs> do we go the extra mile? Yes, we do. Staff are here on a Saturday because we genuinely believe you've got a bit of extra time to go around so you don't have to rush at half past seven at night having been to work. You can actually spend your Saturday <coughs> and walking around the school for as long as you like today and see what we do. Do the staff want to be here on Saturday? I think that's another matter. Do the students want to be here on a Saturday? I think that's another matter. But actually this morning at half past nine, this hall was heaving with students and staff. They were standing room only at the back. They were here at half past nine. I think they were too tired to hear what I was saying, mind you. They were a bit bleary eyed, but they were all here, joining together to have the day for you today. <coughs> We genuinely build the school and relationships. I don't want to be the head at the front shouting, don't, you can't, I said line up. That's not the kind of head I am. The kind of head I am, and I make sure that the staff follow me, I want the schools to be running the school with me. Are we a happy, caring environment? Well, I can tell you definitely yes. And I'd encourage you to come on the tours and feel as it work. Because today is quite, superficial in a lot of ways because it's not the real bad part you can come and see us as we are Monday to Friday although you'll probably get a sense of belonging as you go around. Do we have a successful track record? Well 10 years ago the students and I were reminiscing that little bit I was the new head saying come with me on the journey you know we've got competitors out there that bit of please come here well now we have that track record and I'm standing here today saying it. I want to thank you for coming. I want you to thank you for coming through the gates of Bird Park Academy. I hope you've had the opportunity to see what we do. And I need to tell you, carry on touring because this is just a slither. You know, the head teacher's speech actually is just the start of the day almost, or halfway through the day for you. Go and feel and see how the students react with the staff. Go and ask them about their learning. Ask the past students about their time here. Because I'm very, very proud, and I'm proud of both staff and students, and I'm proud of what we achieved, because we've achieved it together. 
Thank you for coming and joining us in the tour.